some speed right there, huh? <laughs> so a uh, couple things, good day today. You know, we got a day off, and then we'll come back Saturday and then get a good, good day against the Chargers at their place on Sunday. Jonah Jackson got a little bit of a shoulder. He'll be week to week. Rob left with a foot injury. I don't really know anything um, other than that. And then it was good to be able to get Kobe Turner back at practice. You felt his presence, his communication, his ability to disrupt. Um, other than that, I'll open it up for questions. How comfortable are you with his, his kind of drop tackle? Oh, I'm comfortable. You know, I think, you know, being involved in a lot of the conversations, I think, um, you know, the intent is to remove a tackle that leads to a significant more amount of injuries. And, you know, you can see it's when you are stopping a guy's momentum, you're unweighting on the back of his legs. Um, those are obvious. Now, there are certain positions that defensive players get in where it's kind of last line of defense and you're trying to be able to get a guy down by all means. Those aren't the ones that they want to officiate. But you can see if we all just watched it and you said, okay, is this the type of tackle that we want in our game? Those are the ones that they're going to officiate to try to get out because there's a significant uptick in injuries on those types of tackles when the league studied it. And so um, it's, there's a reason why it was 32-0 in terms of the voting when we were at the league meetings on that. Most teams, when they lose a Hall of Famer at a position, you know, they take a step back. But it looks like your D-line has been playing some really good football here early in camp. What's your They've done a great job. I think Giff Smith has done an outstanding job, you know, leading those guys with A.C. Carter. Obviously, getting Kobe Turner back out here today was big. You felt Braden Fisk's presence. I thought Bobby Brown's had a really good camp. Murchison is a guy that's played a lot of football for us. And so, and then there's some other young guys that are really trying to make a name for themselves. So, um, you never replace Aaron Donald. We all know how special he was, but um, I really like what we've had across the front. We've got good energy from our edge players, our interior, and we're able to mix up some personnel groupings. And then we've obviously got linebackers that can move forward um, and affect the passer when we send Ernest, you know, as a as a blitzer or in some of our simulated pressures. So it's a good thing for us. Are you concerned at all with? I know it's early, and these guys probably wouldn't play in the preseason anyway. Yeah. But are you concerned with the number of injuries on the offense? No, line you know, I, obviously, I, here's the one thing I've tried to be disciplined about, Gary, is these guys, you know, you sit there and you start saying, oh, man, you're, you're bummed out. And it's like, how selfish of me. What about these guys? I know they want to be out here. And so I think the important thing is let's pour into the guys that are, you know, not able to be, you know, that are not able to be out here and the ones that are able to be out here. And so we'll be better when those guys are back, whenever that timetable is. But in the meantime, you know, we owe it to ourselves and to those other guys to be able to pour into them. And um, I think there's good examples of that. You never want Cooper Cup to miss as much time as he had to last year and to miss the first four games. But if you say, all right, let's look at it through a positive lens, we got opportunities to see Tutu Atwell and obviously Puka Nakua get a lot more chances than they would otherwise. And you don't want it to have to occur that way. But, you know, I, I think, um, you know, we got to be able to take the, the positive approach on, you know, some unfortunate thing, things. Obviously, you're still gathering. I don't, I don't have any, you know, indication because, you know, he, he's a tough guy. He went off, um, you know, it sounded like he said he got stepped on, but, you know, who knows exactly what's going on. Howard just had a little bit of an ankle. He'll be, he'll be back sooner than later, and um, I thought he's had a really good camp when he's been out here. Jordan will be a lot better when he does come out here, um, but we don't want to rush it either. We're hopeful that he'll be ready to go for the Chargers practice, but like I said, we don't want to rush it, and uh, you know it's kind of one of those weird deals. But fortunately, it's not going to be anything we expect to be long term. Well, Jonah, you know, so far, go ahead, Maria. I'll come to you next. Your program came from year to year to playing Chargers. You play in an odd team here at Chick-fil-A every day. How do you feel about this? Program? Yeah, you just mentioned it. I think you always want to be able to tweak. You know, we have some foundational philosophies that we want to be able to follow through with Maria, but. When you have seven years of inventory and you say, okay, what are the good, what are the bad? I think there's a natural flexibility and fluidity that's necessary to try to be able to ultimately put these guys in the right positions. And some of it is predicated on experience. Um, it enables you to be able to practice when we've got the youth that we do. Um, but I think you guys can see these are physical practices. We need to be a tough team mentally and physically. You don't get tougher without playing smart in these types of settings while trying to minimize the risk for injuries. And so... Um, every year is a new year. There's a lot of similarities, but there's definitely a lot of differences that uh, that we've learned from as well. Coach, are you going to tune in tonight to the first preseason game of the year? We oh, yeah, I'll tune guys, right in. Will you guys can kind of see the new kickoff, you know, return. Yeah, that, I'll, be, I'll be interested to see what that looks like. So it'll uh, – but it is weird. You know, I was talking to a couple of our coaches. They said uh, – you know, I was talking to Shane Waldron earlier, and, you know, he's in that Hall of Fame game, and here we go. So it'll be fun. Um, I think, you know, get a, get, get a chance to see some guys play tonight, and, and I will tune in. You guys know I'm a big fan of the game. Coach, you just had two coaches uh, racing in a, in a foot race. 
How, how vital, how important is that to keep camp light? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, you see how excited the players get. Uh, two of our strength coaches were talking shit to each other, and uh, that was a slow motion 40, that's for sure. So, uh, but no, that was fun. I, I love these guys. Uh, it's awesome to be able to see what that does and how that brings people to life. Um, that's what lets you know when there's a lot of laughs, when there's good fun, but there's an ability to be urgent and positive. Um, but also you see these kind of things. I think that's a good sign of a culture that we want and want to continue on. But but uh, that was a good little deal at the end there. Oh, we, we, a couple Jonah, more, Gat. With Jonah, he missed a part of spring. He was limited during spring. Knew that the team was concerned about missing this time and the impact. Of the you don't really have a choice. You know, he doesn't want to be out. I yeah. thought he had his best practice at him the other day. Um, you know, I know he wants to be out here more than anybody, and he played great the other day. He's got a body of work. There's a reason why we felt so strongly about being able to add him here, and um, this is another little temporary setback, but for him, he's a mentally tough guy. He's going to continue to get better in the way that he can really understand in some things. I thought he showed tremendous improvement, and I don't even know if improvement's the right word as much as understanding of the way that we want to do th some things. Um, a lot of it is predicated on some of his strengths, but he'll be back. He'll be ready to go, and this will be a little temporary thing, but he's equipped to handle it the right way, and he's got people that are going to put their arm around him in the meantime. How you doing? Good, good. Chemistry looks really good out there. How important is it to have Backup, it's big. You know, I think when you can have, you know, obviously Matthew and then another quarterback in Jimmy who I think is a starting quarterback in this league. I think he's got a body of work and a resume that speaks for itself. I've watched him from afar uh, with a ton of respect and then being able to get to know him. He's, he's incredibly talented. He's got a great humility about himself, but he really understands the game. I think he's really, um, you know, got the ability to be able to get through progressions quickly. He's quickly started to understand some of the things that we're doing. David Doan's done a great job with that room as a whole, uh, but to have Matthew, to have Jimmy, um, that's big, and I think you're seeing some growth from Seth and Bennett as well. John, it's just a Last one, guys. Yeah. Where did that, get that idea from, or where did that come from? Yeah, I actually was joking with Raheem this morning about that. Um, where I got it from is, is I had heard that Coach Gruden was using that in Oakland. And I think even Coach Harbaugh back to his days at Michigan, I had heard about it from some coaches that were there, you know, dating back to, you know, when we first got here in 2018, represented the first year that we were doing that. Um, and it's been a real beneficial thing for us. And so to be able to have that, guys really use it, coaches use it to be able to kind of correct in real time. And so, um, but uh, all the good coaches are good thieves too. So I stole that one from Coach Gruden. Does, does he? Uh, and Raheem with, stole from us. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Okay. Uh, with the importance that you talk about of and the ability in the joint practices, yep. player starters, does the fact that you're not going to probably have the two guys on the left side, maybe not Rob, does that change the way you have to approach that joint practice with the starters? No, it you doesn't. Everything? You know, it, I mean, we want to be able to get as many opportunities to compete against other teams as possible, Gary, in a controlled setting. You know, and there's obviously, um, you know, you're a little bit more mindful of what you do in the preseason games. And the guys that are projected starters that have played in this league for us, they're not going to play in the preseason. We're not going to change that approach. The thing that we still have to get a feel for is how do we want to approach the rookies that we're counting on. Last year, we obviously played those guys a little bit, haven't decided exactly what we're going to do. But those practices are for our team, but they are geared towards our guys that uh, we're going to be counting on when the, uh, when the games kick off and when we play Detroit. All right, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.